Hey guys and welcome to another State of Survival video. Today we want to have a special and focused look on the Sinister Santa and based on him or on them on all the other special infected zombies that we meet in those seasonal and special events just like we had on the Halloween and the Thanksgiving event too. So what are those sinister senders um, and other zombies? They are some special zombies and they always appear during those seasonal events bringing us some of the event special items. Here for example the sleigh bells, some bio caps, some chief stamina and some hero stamina. And those are only the rewards for damaging those special zombies. But when you successfully delete, kill or eliminate a Sinister Sander, for example, you will get some speed ups on top of the damage based rewards. So those special infected zombies are not like the other normals that we can attack with a full march. We have to locate them with another special uh, event item. Here for example, those nice little Christmas hats. And then you can go right here through the event screen and click on locate Sinister Santa or through your backpack when you click on those nice little hats. Every seasonal special infected zombie uh, we can attack 20 times per day. The recovery time is just set it like this so we get uh, 20 chances per 24 hours. Usually uh, those events last for 3 days so we can attack them a total amount of 60 times and I would recommend to try and use every single chance because the rewards are pretty nice and to not attack a sinister sender or another special infected zombie during another event more than one time because you will reduce your maximum rewards in total yeah I hope you get my point so when I talk about reducing your maximum viable points the other question that is way more important is how to maximize our outcome how to maximize our rewards and for that I got a nice little overview I will just make it visible for you now so we got 20 chances a day I already said this and to maximize our rewards or outcome of those special infected zombies we want to use all those chances uh, one chance per special zombie as I already said and we want to deal at least 900,000 damage on one sinister sender or on a infected gardener or whatever they call them in the future so how to deal those 900,000 damage? Um, at first we should make sure that those sinister senders or other special infected zombies um, will get attacked like an explorer mission. So we will have a setup of three heroes of our choice and those three will have one minute, I think it's one minute time, to deal as much damage to this infected boss zombie as they can. So we have only this one boss zombie, so we want to pick three champions or three heroes that will deal the most single target damage as possible. And most of you... I think we'll already know Mike is a pretty good hero for that not because he is a special expensive hero but he got some nice little skills it's not the active one the flash grenade but those two passive skills are pretty cool 
and those skills for me for example will deal 26,000 damage here for a critical hit and here we will deal 21,000 with each shot with uh, three shots so a lot of single target damage he's not that good for uh, normal explorer missions because he is not that good in dealing a lot of damage to a mass of zombies but he's pretty good for those explorer missions for those special infected zombies here yeah. and of course he's a free to play champion so i think with uh, some play time uh, we should be able to max him out or at least get him to a two star rank like nicola here or a three star rank so but if you don't want to take mike there's another hero i can recommend for the hunter part and that is jab same argument we got here an ap shot this time is it is an active uh, ability and we will deal 18,000 damage to the target so we can influence how often those ability procs not like here on mike we just have to rely on the um, random factor yeah but here we can have an impact on this also those nice little drones are not that bad to deal some extra damage yeah yeah i think other guys like tyler lucky or so could deal also some nice decent damage amount but i would recommend one of those two hunters for the rider hero i would recommend a maddie she's also pretty easy to level up because she is a hero of the first generation just like nicola and i pointed out pointed out both of them right here as one hero set that will deal enough damage those 900,000 that we need she got also uh, his her frank with her that will deal some nice damage but it's not that cool because sometimes he keeps the special infected zombie out of your infantry hero range for example if we pick nicola as our infantry hero he will um be waiting for the hero unless we move him forward uh for example yeah travis would be something that we could take also with us he gives us a nice little stamina reduction but yeah come on let's test it out and see if i'm not only talking but if it's true also let's see we got here the travis eli and mike setup here are the rewards i think they are pretty much the same in every seasonal event of course the sleigh bells are not always here and i will not move or interact here so we will have just the automatic fight and here the yellow uh, line is the range of our infantry hero so if the sinister sender or the other seasonal hero would stand outside we will not deal this uh, mud damage as we can and as you can see some nice little single target shots from mike and we hit those 900,000 damage we even did like 70,000 like 70,000 more so we saved some stamina but if you don't have access to eli or other good infantry heroes let's see how mike maddie and nicola work for this setup mike maddie and of course nicola costs a bit more stamina but I think most of us should be able to get access to those three heroes and level them up a bit and yeah please make sure that here you can see nicola for example has way lower range uh, not like eli and emma had and here you can see already 30 seconds that frank is 
keeping our Nicola um, out of the fight. He will just die now. And Nicola will only have like 5 seconds to attack. But Mike again doing a pretty good job. And we pass those mark or the, the mark of 900,000 damage. So yeah, if you want to increase your damage, just move your Nicola for example or your other or Ashy or your Chief one step forward. Make sure that they are in range to attack. Let's see. We will just do another one to see that. And of course your hero gear also has an impact on how much damage you are dealing to those infected zombies. For me, exam for example, I am on the middle of the purple hero gear for mostly all. So yeah, I moved him forward now. The sinister is just within his range. I don't care about the damage he's dealing. I'm just about to maximize my damage output. So all in all, I recommend to use all your chances. Your chances don't uh, reach those 20 out of 20 chances because you will then lose out of some tries to attack them. And here you can see the rewards. Nine sleigh bells is maximum. Nice of nine of the uh, event currency, like 200 bio caps, 1,000 chief experience. It's just the same as here. Just a bit split it and here the same. So yeah, what are your thoughts on those special infected zombies? Any questions? Any feedback? I would appreciate it. <laughs> Leave a like, a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the bell to get reminded. And see you next time. Goodbye.